In this video I'd like to show you how to import and configure the OpsLogix ping management pack. So first if you have downloaded the ping management pack from the OpsLogix.com site you'll have download a zip. Now just extract all from the zip so it'll create a new directory and inside the zip you'll find there's a guide, there's a license agreement which you have to agree to and there is also the management pack bundle for the ping management pack and also a base library which the ping management pack is dependent on. So if you have not imported the base library yes you should do that but if you have you can just go ahead and import the MPB. Alright, so let's import the management packs. Add from disk and we'll browse to the location where we extracted the management pack. So in this case it would be the temp directory and then the OpsLogix ping management pack directory. Now since we already imported the base library we're not going to do that again so we'll just import the MPB and we'll say install. So now the management pack is imported. Now let's check if they're really there. So we'll give this a refresh check for the management packs. You can see the base library is there and indeed we imported the ping management pack and the ping management pack overrides. So let's go to the monitoring pane and now if we go to OpsLogix we see the ping management pack folder and we have quite a, quite a few views here. Now the first thing we have to do is go to the configuration dashboard and select the add remove source host tab. Now let me just use dco1.contosa.com as a source host so this would be the host from which the ping would originate. We'll just add that to our source host list but if you'd like more or multiple you can also choose multiple servers to ping from. So we'll go to our add remove target host. We'll select our host to ping from. We just added dco1.contosa.com so we'll select that. We'll enter a display name for our target host, so in this case it would be firewall01 and the IP address would be 10.0.0.139. So we'll go ahead and add that and we can see it's added here in our firewall01 and the target host is 10.0.0.139. So when we go to our status view we can see that the target is added in this view and it still has to initialize but that might take a while. Now by default the ping monitor pings every 60 seconds and if it misses a ping reply then it will give a critical alert. Now you can configure this behavior because for every environment this is not very suitable especially in some high latency environments where you can sometimes miss a ping. Now if you would like the tolerance to be a bit less or higher then you can configure the monitor so basically the target host ping check. We can click the properties. We'll go to overrides and we'll try to override the firewall 01 uh, object we just created. So as you can see the interval by default is 60 seconds and the number of no replies allowed is 1. So when it misses one ping then it will immediately go into a critical state. Now the interval we can increase so for instance 120 seconds so then it will ping every 120 seconds and then if you miss a reply then it will go into a critical state immediately. Now if you want to allow for tolerance, so basically that it's allowed to miss one reply, then you can override this parameter and you can set it to two, so then it will just miss one reply and only on the next re uh, non-reply it will alert you. So we'll cancel this, we don't want to save it. Now there is also a performance monitor which measures the threshold for latency. Now this monitor is not enabled by default so we can enable that by taking the monitor properties, going to overrides, go to the override field, 
specify which object we want to do it for or the whole class but in this case we'll just take firewall 01 we'll click enable and we'll say true and now it's enabled now the default values for this monitor are an interval of 60 seconds if the latency breaches the threshold of 30 then it will go into a warning state and if it breaches a threshold of 250 then it will go into a critical state now it will do this over an uh, average sample or a number of average samples of three so it will take three samples and it will average them out and then calculate if the threshold is breached now you can do this over a greater number of samples and you can also set the thresholds yourself Besides the um, monitors, we also have performance counters, which should be here. And we can visualize the performance of the latency. Now, in this case, we have a latency of one millisecond. And if we go to the reporting section, there are reports which we can use to report over the latency of our ping targets. So let's just look for that ping management pack. There we go. And we can open the re uh, report for ping, ping response times. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you can download this ping management pack for free on our website, opslogics.com. Thank you very much. Bye bye.